Have you ever been in a game and somebody pulled out a certain defensive coverage and you just didn't know how to beat it? We've all been there. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to beat every different type of coverage in the game so that when somebody pulls it out on you, you know exactly what to do. Let's start with man defense. This one can be tricky for a lot of people, but there's a few routes that consistently beat it. Now, if someone's running a lot of man defense on you, one thing you want to look for are plays that have these deep crossing routes that the B receiver is on. There will be plenty of them in any playbook that you use. And what's going to happen here is if you have a good receiver, more times than not, he is going to cook the defender. Now, every once in a while, the defender may stay with him because man can be a little random at times, but more times than not, it's going to be open. Now, something to be mindful of when you're going against like a two man under where you have two deep zones, you like to have a streak on that side of the field as well. You see, I put George Kittle on a streak. And the reason for that is you want something to occupy that deep safety. If you don't put him on a streak, the deep safety may be able to come over and help defend this route. So those two routes together work to free up the crossing route for a huge play. Another good thing that can beat man coverage are zig routes. Now you see George Kittle here is actually on one of those routes, but you can also hot route these by pressing wire triangle, selecting the receiver's icon, and then going left on the right stick. So I just put Debo Samuel on a zig route as well. So now we have two of them on a play and more times than not, these will absolutely crush man coverage just like that. Every once in a while, the defender will defend it properly. Nothing is really foolproof every single time against man, but these are going to work most of the time here we're going to show George Kittle you could see that he's going to beat his man over to the other side of the field as well so you can put zig routes on literally any play in the game so it's a good resource to have so right here I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put Brandon Ayuk on the zig route this time and you'll see he's going to just absolutely get loose against the cornerback there and that's Tariq Woolen who is a good corner but he stood no chance on that play so you can always put a whip route on every play if you're worried about man coverage now hey if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subbed yet you might as well go ahead and sub join the family that way you're always up to date on the best and latest Madden tips to help you win more games another good route against man coverage is the Texas route which is what Christian McCaffrey is on right now these will consistently fry man coverage for huge yards and you can usually find these in a couple of plays in your playbook you have to look around your playbook to find them in shotgun usually you'll see them but they're there now with a guy like McCaffrey you can actually hot route this on any play in the game because he has a superstar ability that allows him to get extra hot routes some other guys have these two like Alvin Kamara I believe Austin Eckler has it and there's a few others if you look at each team's abilities if a running back has running back apprentice or backfield master that means he will get extra hot routes and you can see when we pull up our hot route wheel on the d-pad we can go up on the right stick for a Texas route so if you're using a team like that you have the ability to put that on every play and it's actually super valuable because these routes just absolutely fry man coverage I mean you could see it's almost like a one play touchdown if there's no one else in the middle of the field because he's off and running another route that absolutely destroys man coverage this year are wheel routes out of the backfield and you can hot route these on any play by pressing wire triangle selecting the running backs icon and then selecting up on the right stick now this is something that could potentially get patched soon so just keep that in mind but the wheel routes just run right past the defense and it's just a one play touchdown or it's going to be a huge play not sure why it's the case and the better the running back the faster he is the better this is going to be but this is a way to really get people out of man defense this year because they get over the top pretty easily every once in a while just like everything else a defender will defend it okay but more times than not it's going to be open and especially because linebackers are usually on these guys they really don't stand a chance when you you talk about the speed and especially a guy like McCaffrey who also has good route running now really quickly I do want to also mention that I have a patreon membership where I provide even higher level Madden tips and ebooks if you're tired of losing games that you know you should be winning or you just simply want to win even more games than you already are the stuff I teach on that page will double your winning percentage in literally no time so if you want to check it out the link is in the pinned comment below another good route for beating man are sharp corners so the route that Kittle is on right now is considered a sharp corner it has a hard cut those usually beat man now there's other corner routes where they take more of a rounded cut or they run upfield at like a much steeper angle and those are not good for beating man the ones that beat man they cut short and they don't run too deep down the field so notice kind of where this corner route runs it's going to about the 15 yard line now here I'm audible into a different play to show you an example. Now notice the corner route that Kittle's on now. Look how the end of the route is in the end zone, whereas the end of the other corner was at the 15 yard line. That's the difference. 
A corner route that cuts at that steep of an angle typically is not going to beat man consistently. However, the ones that run a little bit shorter, those do a better job at actually beating man. So we'll show you what I mean here. You'll see that he cuts and he creates good separation. Now he ran into the receiver there, unfortunately, so he didn't catch the ball. So what we're going to actually do here is streak the outside receiver. We want him out of the way. We don't want him running where George Kittle is because we're trying to hit George Kittle. And you can see he absolutely destroys the coverage. But what's interesting is guys like George Kittle you can hot route this on every play because he has what's known as tight end apprentice or route apprentice so when we pull up our hot routes he has the d-pad wheel and you can see the corner is right on the d-pad now this is a little bit sharper of a corner but it's about the same thing you see how it goes to the same spot on the field and this is going to create great separation so with a guy like George Kittle you can hot route this on any play in the game so that's why when you use teams like the Niners or you use teams like the Chiefs because Travis Kelsey can do this as well Teams like that help you beat man coverage because you can hot route these on any play, which means every single play you have the ability to really destroy man. Now, another hot route that guys like Kelsey and Kittle get are the post hot route, which is down on the D-pad. And this is similar to the corner, but just going the opposite way. It has a sharp, shallow cut and it will destroy any man defender. So that's why using those teams just helps you with beating man coverage so much better because you have the ability to have so many man beating routes at your disposal on every play. Now let's move on to beating beating cover two, one of the more popular styles of zone defense you'll see. So the weakness against cover two, a lot of times is going to be just taking the quick short dump down stuff underneath. If it's a regular cover two, if they're doing shading, we'll cover that in a second. But a regular cover two means that those yellow zones over the middle, they're going to play about five or so yards back. The cloud flats will play about 10 yards back, which means you kind of dink and dunk and take what the defense gives you. The good thing about a cover two is it does kind of limit big plays against people people that aren't too good at the game and a lot of people want to go for the big play thus they throw interceptions the place where this is weakest is quick dump downs but also there's going to be a way to time up deep passes in between the cloud flat and the safety so between this guy here this deep safety and this cloud flat there's a window in the middle of both of them where you can make big plays but that's what a more advanced player is going to do and I'll show you how to do that but for the beginning what you want to do for example is let's say you take a play right here in gun bunch where the middle receiver is on a corner and the tight end is on a flat what you do is simply streak the receiver and what you have here is an easy dump down to the tight end versus cover two you take and get your five or six quick yards and it's super easy and this is really a good concept versus any zone defense you face this is called flooding a zone basically the streak is going to take the deep zones and then between the corner and the shallow flat that route the other defenders kind of have to pick between those two so you see they're playing back we take a quick dump down it's not pretty but we get five yards and that's the smart play now if they were shading their defense down because they're tired of you dumping it down for five yards you'll notice watch how the corner jumps on the tight end but now look how open this guy is this is good versus anything but we're just showing it versus cover two we'll also show it against a cover three as well but that's a good way to beat cover two now if you want to have something with this play that attacks both flats for example you could take the running back let's say put him on an out route because now he's going to hit the flat on this side and you do the same thing you just take your five six seven yards that's what's going to consistently beat cover two hitting the flats until they shade down another good example of how to get them underneath against a cover two would be having drag routes drag routes work very well against cover two so concepts like mesh right here where you have two receivers on drags one of them is a tight end but you get my point this is another easy way you just quick dump down and look at that we're getting 10 yards 11 12 yards because the defense by default is gonna play further back because that's the style of defense it's gonna rally down once you catch the ball and try to limit big plays but you can see we're still picking up 10 yards a pop by just throwing drag routes against the cover two it's the simplest thing you can do and unless they shade down this is gonna be open every play and you can create this on any play because drag routes are in your hot routes so it doesn't matter what play you're in let's just change the form really quickly let's go to like gun doubles right here like this is a complete vertical play here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the tight end and the Y receiver I'm just gonna block the running back to kind of keep him out the way but you can create dual drags on any play and look okay we got seven yards there that'll beat cover two until they start shading down now interestingly enough this play right here is gonna have another good route for beating cover two and that's the deeper corners remember previously versus man I said these types of corners not good against man you want the shorter ones well against cover two it's the exact opposite 
you want the deeper corners against cover two. So if you find a play with a corner out like this, what you can do, you can take the receiver next to him. You can put him on a streak because that's going to help clear out the safety. And then what's going to happen is the receiver is going to get over that outside guy because the outside guy, we overthrew it there, says great timing, but perfect accuracy, but clearly it wasn't. But either way, the cornerback on the outside is not going to go that deep because he's not supposed to go that deep. He's only supposed to stay in like the 10 to 15 range on the field. So when you find these deep corner routes, that's what they're there for. They're there to beat cover two, and you just want to put a streak on the same side of the field because that's what helps occupy that safety so that the safety does not come over and play you. And that is going to be one of your most popular ways to not only beat cover two, but destroy it for huge touchdowns. Here's another example out of a different formation. I'm in a bunch tight end and you can see we have a deep corner on this play. So what I would do here is I got to streak one of these guys. I can just go ahead and I can streak X and call it a day. And then the B is going to go to the outside. So watch this. We have the quick pass to B because the underneath, the quick underneath in that five yard range beats cover two. So we can do that quickly, get the ball out in case like, you know, pass rushes is, is coming at us strong or something. But if we're able to wait a little bit, then what we're going to have is we're going to have Y over the top for the touchdown because the cover two cloud flat on the outside is not going to go as deep as that deep corner and it's not going to play in the hard flat. Now, sure, if you shade the defense underneath, then it's going to play in the hard flat. So watch here. B's not going to be an option here. The cornerback's all over it, but this guy's still open. Now, we overthrew it, but he was still open. So you see what I'm saying? But it's very hard in a cover two to stop both the flat and the deep corner. Another great concept for beating cover two is verticals, and you can find these littered throughout any playbook in the game. You can find them in spread. You can find them in trips. You can find them in compressed sets. So right here, we're in a trip set. The play is verticals. What you're going to notice here is that when we snap this ball, you're going to notice we can hit X to the outside for a touchdown. Why? Because the safety has to respect the inside guy. We're going to run it again. Watch how the safety is going to favor the Y receiver. But funny enough, we can try to hurry up and click on and catch it like that. That's a little bit more advanced because you have to click on to make that catch. You can't let the computer catch that because watch what happens. If I try to let the computer catch this, the safety is going to get in there. And we caught it, but it, it's just a little too close for comfort, right? But you can see how the safety favors the Y receiver in a cover two, whereas he'll let X go. So you want to just quick hit X and then look, it's a touchdown. Now, to make this better, what I like to do, I take the tight end in this example. I want to put him on a drag. He's on kind of a drag already, but it goes a little deeper. Uh, we can leave the running back on his route, but I, I'd rather just kind of have the blocking, so I'd rather block him. So this is what happens. We have our downfield attack. We can quick hit Y if we use or catch it. We can hit X, but also we have that underneath, right? That little underneath five-yard route too, because sometimes you need a hot read and you need to get the ball out quick. So that's how you would beat a cover two that way. Now, I'm going to audible over here really quickly just to save time we're going to go to four verticals and the spread look right so same concept different alignment but it's going to work the same the safety is going to favor the inside guys which is going to free up the outside guys so watch what happens here watch x x is a touchdown why because the safety was favoring the inside seam streaks now let's go to a cover three real quick because that's the next popular coverage we're going to break down and let's just keep with this same concept because we're going to talk about some other stuff but verticals is also going to attack cover three but it's going to be a little different instead of the outside guys now it's going to be more of the inside guys because the big biggest weakness of a cover three is the seams. So that's basically where the numbers are on the field, the 10, 20, 30. Those are the seams and that's where cover three is the weakest. So watch cover three here. You'll see why he's going to have a nice little opening. I do prefer to click on and go for a possession catch, which is A on Xbox, X on PlayStation, because I just want to make sure that I secure the catch and the safety doesn't like hit me and knock the ball out. So again, right when he passes that defender, you can get it. If you time it up right, you don't have to click on. But basically, what's going to happen in a cover three when you're running verticals is you see this purple right here. He's going to bump this guy and then he's going to let him run past because his job is to kind of delay this guy and then he drops back to the curl area. And so right when he gets off the press, you'll notice you can throw the ball right when he gets off the press. He's off. Throw it bullet pass and he's wide open in the scene. Now, again, versus a cover three, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag my tight end because you can use drags against a cover three as well similar to a cover two you have that quick hitter that you can dump down and you can still pick up yards so it gives you your check down so here we are in the verticals and the spread look and it's the same thing against cover three again we're going to go for the seams you're going to wait for them to kind of pass the linebackers you want to go for the 
possession catch because you do want to get down it is a little bit tighter of a throw than against cover two but it still works so now we're going back to our flood concept versus cover three we showed it against cover two and it's the same thing if they're running a standard cover three the flats are going to be a weakness of the cover three you want to check it down to the flats. so with cover two flats were a weakness but then the deep outside was also a weakness with cover three it's going to be the flats and the seams that's going to be the weakness so if they're not adjusting their cover three your flats will be open every single play for a quick dump down to pick up about five yards and again if you want to have something on the other side of the field you can put your running back on an out route again for example to have you know two ways to hit the quick flats and pick up your five but that's always going to be a weakness of cover three don't be afraid to just take the five yards because if it's there you're going to be moving the ball now again if they shade down to start you know trying to stop that that's when you go to the corner route the corner route is going to be wide open if they shade down to cover the flat so you just have to pay attention to what they're doing if the flat's there you take it if you notice the defender instantly goes to the flat then that's how you know the route behind it is going to be coming open a little bit later in the play we're going back to the mesh concept again because this also beats cover three well too because you have the dual drags and they're going to get underneath so again if they're not shading down just hit them with dual drags dual drags can be hot routed on any play and most people that you're going to run into that play zone defense they're not going to shade down they're just going to call vanilla stock cover three stock cover two stock man which means you just have to play vanilla on offense to beat it and it's, it's that simple don't be afraid to throw a drag or a flat every play until they adjust because if you do that and they don't adjust you'll get down the field and score a touchdown every six seven eight plays now another concept i like to use against cover three is curl flatting now this really should work versus most zones but I find cover two sometimes in Madden it can be a little tricky so I'll stay away from it but basically what we have here is we have a play where the slot receiver is on a flat the Y receiver so we're going to take the X receiver put them on a curl now some plays in your playbook will come stock like this there'll be some curl flat concepts that are stock but the thing is is you can hot route this on any play because you can hot route flat routes and you can hot route curl route so you have the ability to make this anytime you want and what you're going to notice here in a cover three what's open the flat of course the flat's supposed to be opening it's a stock cover three and it was easy yards now if you hit the flat a bunch and they get tired of it and they start shading down and say i'm not going to give you the flat well now the curl is going to be open just like that now you have to be decisive on this you have to be quick you don't want to wait too long to throw the curl you want to try to hit it right as it's breaking but as you can see one of them is going to be open it just depends on what your opponent does and it's just such an easy way to just get down the field you know eight to ten yards a pop now you see on the right side of the field we have our running back on the flat so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the tight end or excuse me the receiver on the curl and it's going to work the same way we could say okay the flats open we take the running back we're going to get four or five yards it's a little better if you have a receiver out there just because it can be thrown a little quicker but it's the same concept now here they're going to play underneath right they shade it down okay that's fine we're just going to hit the curl now and you can do this again out of any play you just need a little bit of spacing you don't want them to be too bunched up next to each other so here for example look i'm audible and over to this four verticals play we can create this right here we're going to put the slot receiver on a flat we're going to put b on a curl and there you go we have a curl flat now and again if they don't shade down look what's open flat easy money go get 10 yards go get 15 yards why not now here they're on the they're on it they're on it that's cool look what we got we got this open now so this is going to work against cover three every single time now let's talk about beating cover four and i might sound like a broken record a little bit but some of these things are just going to work versus every coverage so again we're in the mesh concept the dual drag is going to work pretty much against any zone they can throw at you i will say cover four sometimes can rally on it a little bit better but it's still going to work as long as you just make you know decisive reads you know wait till you find an open area throw it and get yards and again the only thing that's going to stop it is they have to shade down drags and flats will beat pretty much any zone in the game unless they shade down you shade down then it's dead but if they shade down that's when you start hitting them with other stuff however a lot of people don't shade down they just call the stock coverage and they wonder why they can't stop drags they say oh drags and flats are just open every play they're cheesy no you just have to shade down but most people don't do that another thing i really like against cover fours are actually stretch runs because with a cover four it's kind of one of those defenses that it's good against inside runs because the safeties are in run fits to the inside but the outside can just be wide open stretch runs typically are going to kill cover four i mean like for huge runs and it doesn't even matter what the stretch is as long as it's got decent blocking on it because there are some stretches in the game where the blocking is just weird for some reason but most stretch runs are going to absolutely pop cover four and again going back to the curl flat concept this works pretty well against cover four as well you see flat open take it easy yards because cover four is weird cover four 
is weak in the flats at times, but then other times it depends on the play. Sometimes, you know, it, it can be defended pretty well. It just kind of depends. So here you could see on this side, we're dumping it down in the flat, pick up a few yards. Again, when the running back's the guy on the flat route, it's not really the best. So here I'm gonna go ahead and put the tight end on the flat instead. You see how much better it is when you have like someone that's on the line and not in the backfield? I prefer that, so I just create that hot route myself. But you could see flats wide open against the cover four because they're dropping back into like the curl area. However, if they shade down and they cover the curl or the flat rather, then the curl is wide open. So simple stuff to beat these coverages. You just have to know when your opponent is spamming it and know what you can go to to actually beat them. Now that you know how to beat all these coverages, you're halfway there. But if you want to learn about the best offense in the game, period, where you can beat all these coverages out of one single formation, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.